Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film a meal prepping video for you. I do have to work tonight and it is about 8.30 right now. I've been up for about an hour and a half. Um, I dropped the dog off at the groomers today and i um, just coming back here to get a few things starting cooking while I'm heading out to the store to grab the rest of the things. Um, I do like to go to Sam's just because I can get bulk items for a little bit cheaper and then maybe I don't have to go the next week. So let me show you what I'm cooking before I leave to go to the store. So at Sam's, I like to get this ground turkey. It actually comes in a two pack. So I took this one out of the freezer to start thawing. And then I also like to get the big package of boneless skinless chicken breasts. Um, again, I portion those out into individual bags and I put about three chicken breasts in each bag. And I just throw those in the freezer for the following weeks as far as meal prepping. I also am going to get these black beans started. These are the dry um, black beans. So you do have to cook them and they do take a little bit of work, but I could get these two pounds of black beans for under a dollar. And I think each individual can um, of black beans is about a dollar. So if you have the time, I would stick with the dry ones. Plus there's no sodium in these because they're dry. So here's the macros for those. All right, some other things I'm gonna get started. My husband loves chicken and rice. So I'm gonna put one chicken breast with the cream of chicken soup into this crock pot, this mini one to get cooking. And then the other ones, I'm gonna make chicken tacos this week. And I'm gonna use this Chi Chi's Salsa Verde. Macros on this aren't bad. There is a little bit of salt in there, but I just use this to kind of keep the chicken moist. And then I will, you know, just pull the chicken out and drain the rest of the sauce off. So that's what I'm get, gonna get cooking before I head out to the store. All right, so I got the chicken in the crock pot. I ended up putting a little bit of the Mrs. Dash chicken seasoning just because the soup already has some salt in it, so that is a salt-free seasoning. So I ended up putting that in there. So I will cook that. Once it gets cooked, I'll show you what I do with it, but that's not for me, that's just for him. Um, and then in here I have two chicken breasts and then about a little less than half of this salsa verde. And again, I'm just gonna let that cook. The beans, they're boiled and now they have to sit for an hour um, off the heat. So I'm just gonna let those chill out while I head to the store. Okay guys, I just got back from Sam's and I thought I would show you what I got. So pretty much every trip that I get, I always get uh, milk and eggs. Um, you can get two 18 packs of eggs for really cheap. And then I also got egg whites. Um, this is four 16 ounce containers. Um, some of this stuff is for my husband, so you will see. Uh, I got these veggie pop chips. They, for one serving, is three and a half fat, 20 carb, and three protein, but just kind of when you want something crunchy and you don't want it to be too bad. And one serving is 23 chips, so that's quite a big thing. I also found this protein there. Um, I just recently got the Muscle Tech casein protein and I saw that they had the um, whey protein there. This is, let's see, 20 grams per serving, 1.5 fat and nine carbs. So it's not too bad. And this flavor is deluxe chocolate. So this is six pounds of it for 30 bucks. It was on sale. So I figured I'd give this a try since their casein protein was really good. I also got this quinoa. Um, quinoa is a really good other carb that you can do instead of brown rice or white rice. I like it. Um, you can make it sweet or savory. One of the girls in uh, my training group posted a picture that she puts this in a bowl for breakfast and has it with like berries and stuff. So I think I'm gonna try that. Um, but one serving of this, which is a quarter cup, has six grams of protein in it. So that's good. I also got some vegetables, so this week I got Brussels sprouts and asparagus and spinach. Spinach I'll use for salads, um, but I'll also kind of cook it in the morning with my eggs and stuff just to kind of make it more filling. These I got for my husband. These are the sandwich things. They're the 100 calorie ones, but you can get two packs as for the same price that you can usually get the one package um, at the grocery store, so I got these. Um, I also found these potatoes. I try to get a variety of colors in my diet. However, most vegetables are green. Um, so I found these potatoes. They are um, white, red, and purple potatoes. And they're just the little ones. And I like to cook these 
in the oven pretty much all my vegetables I like to roast in the oven just because I think they taste better that way so I will probably have these and roast them in the oven and I'll actually eat them for breakfast or I'll put them in some of my containers for my meals got these colorful tomatoes these are bigger than cherry tomatoes but they're just the wild wonder tomatoes and you can see all the different colors I got a big bag of lemons. Pretty much every morning I start out with lemon water. Um, if you just Google the benefits of drinking lemon water every morning, you can read. There's a lot of health benefits. I just really like it. Um, and I pretty much have had it every morning for a few months now, but I have been out for a little while, so I figured I would get those. And then usually I buy fresh salmon, but I figured I would give this a try. Um, this is blackened salmon portions, and the only ingredients in it are salmon, so I figured I would give this a try. Um, there's four, 34 grams of protein per portion. So this is in the freezer section. Um, one thing that I did not find at Sam's that I needed was the uh, tuna that I've been talking about a lot lately. So this is what I get. It is the um, Starkist Very Low Sodium Chunk Tuna. This is a lot lower in sodium than regular tuna, so this only has 35 grams of sodium. And for the whole can is 28 grams of protein and one fat. So you can't really beat the macros on that. And I have a few recipes up on my blog about what I do with this. And let me just tell you, I hate tuna. Like, I cannot stand it. And this stuff, it still has a little bit of the tuna smell when you open the can, but when you eat it, it doesn't taste like anything. It kind of tastes like um, canned chicken, so. Um, and then next to that, I also saw this kind of tuna. I've never tried this before, but it was actually a little bit cheaper. Um, this is Skipjack Chunk Light Tuna in Water. Um, the sodium is not quite as low, so this one has 180 grams of sodium in it. But you get two and a half servings per container, and so this will be over 30 grams of protein. So I figured I'd give this one a try, and I will um, let you know what I think. Um, let's see what else I got. Um, at Walmart, I also got bacon for my husband. Um, he meal preps kind of like uh, breakfast sandwiches for the morning just to save him time. And then I will post a picture of all the other stuff that I usually get. I didn't get hardly, actually I didn't get any meat at Sam's this time because I got it all last time. Um, but I will post all that kind of stuff um, on my blog with the prices just so you guys can take a look. The grocery stores around here, I have a hard time finding the quality of items that I'm used to and the prices aren't very good. Um, I usually have to go to Publix if I want good quality and their prices sometimes are not very good. So I've been going to Sam's a lot since I've been here and just buying everything in bulk and freezing it. So let's get started with meal prep. Okay, so I always like to start with the vegetables that I know are gonna take the longest. So potatoes are gonna be first then Brussels sprouts, then asparagus. I've already got these rinsed, so all I'm gonna do is chop them and put them on my baking sheet right here. I like to cook my vegetables in olive oil, so I just sprinkle a little bit on the bottom before I put them all on there. And since these are small, all I'm gonna do is have them and then put them on the baking sheet. bit more olive oil on the top and then I like to season these with garlic powder and pepper and then these are gonna go in the oven at 500 which is my broiling temperature until they're nice and brown all right next up I'm gonna uh, trim these Brussels sprouts trim the ends off and have them and I'm gonna do the same thing a little bit of olive oil and then put them on the baking sheet garlic powder and pepper if you click if you keep all your flavor profiles the same it'll be really easy to combine the meals later I try not to do anything really fancy keep it simple which keeps it easy on yourself so just keep it simple carbs potatoes 
um, quinoa, brown rice, veggies, whatever kind of veggies that you like, and then protein. And then you can just combine them to fit your macros or just fit whatever meals you like. So these are gonna go in the oven. Um, same with the potatoes, 500 until they're nice and golden. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my quinoa in my rice cooker. My rice cooker and my crock pots are probably two of my biggest used staples for meal prepping. So for the quinoa, and just read the directions, I'm pretty sure they're all the same, but this is two cups of liquid per one cup of quinoa. So I'm doing one and a half cups of the quinoa and then three cups of water. Okay, and then just give that a stir and put the lid on and then just wait until it's done. I don't add any seasonings to it because you can add seasonings to the end. That way, if you wanna make it two separate kinds of things, like I think this week I'm gonna try that quinoa breakfast um, meal that I was telling you about. That I can make it savory or sweet and then if I wanna have it with my meals, I can make it savory or just eat it plain. So I don't put any seasoning on that either. So that's just gonna cook. Okay, so now that I've got my vegetables in the oven, I've got my black beans simmering away back here. I've got my chicken with the salsa verde in this crock pot, and then the chicken with the cream of chicken soup in that crock pot. Now we're gonna get on to the turkey. This is the turkey that I get at Sam's. It's in a two pack, um, and this is two and a half pounds per package. So you actually get five pounds, and I think it is around 10 to $12, I'm not sure, but all of the uh, prices and everything will be on my blog uh, along with the details. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this so I can have two different kinds of meat. So what I'm going to do is brown this up. If you have a big enough pan to um, cook five pounds of meat in once, I would suggest doing that because all I'm going to do is brown this and take it out, but I don't have a big enough pan for that and I find that it cooks a little bit better this way. You get a nice caramelization on it. So I will cook this up and then I'll show you what I do with it. Okay guys, this is lean ground turkey, but it still does have a little bit of fat in it. So now that the meat is cooked, I just went ahead and drained the excess fat off of it. So now I'm ready to season it up. So this first one, what I'm going to make is kind of like a barbecue sauce. A lot of barbecue sauce has a lot of sugar in it, so I found that this helps a little bit. If you just want to use barbecue sauce, you can. But I saw another YouTube make this, and it sounded really interesting to me, so I figured I would give it a try, and I really like it. So it's a little bit of yellow mustard, probably, I don't know, an eighth of a cup or so ketchup and you could use whatever kind of ketchup you like and this is a little bit more maybe like a quarter cup and then some Worcestershire sauce no one I don't think anyone can ever say that right but maybe another eighth of a cup or so pretty equal ratios but a little bit more ketchup just so it's not really vinegary and then you just kind of stir it up and it makes this nice sauce sounds weird I was skeptical too but I tried it and I really liked it and Dustin really likes it, so that's a double win for me. And then if you're mixing it and it doesn't seem like it's enough sauce, just add a little bit more of everything. Because it's kind of going to depend on how much meat that you have. done I like to just transfer it over into one of these containers so then I can cook everything let it cool off and then portion it out after everything is done cooking so I can see what I have exactly how much and that kind of thing so that's what I do if 
if you're someone that works from home and you um, don't have to bring your meals anywhere, you don't even have to portion them out for meal prep. You can just leave it in this container and then just heat up what you want. I, however, uh, have to bring most of my meals with me wherever I go. Otherwise, I'm stuck eating like pizza or something. Um, so, I bring my meals pretty much everywhere. Alright, so that one is done and now we are going to just brown up the other half of this meat. Since this was turkey, that was turkey, I'm not really that picky, I'm just going to cook it in the same pan. Every once in a while guys, just take a peek at your vegetables because you may have to um, like flip them and stuff. I think the asparagus is almost done actually, so I'm going to go ahead and take that out. Yep. So this is the asparagus when it's done. I really like it crispy and charred like that because then the ends get really crispy. So I personally like it that way, but cook it however you like it. So I'm just gonna take that over here to cool. And then I've still got my um, potatoes, which I'm gonna give a little shake, and my Brussels sprouts in here. And those are gonna cook for a little longer. The asparagus doesn't take very long. Um, same with broccoli, if you have broccoli, that doesn't take very long to cook either, so. This is just gonna cool for a little bit and then I will kind of just set it off to the side. All right guys, so the second half of the meat is now browned. Again, I just drained it to get the excess fat off. This one I'm gonna make more of like an Asian style. So I've got some of the Walden Farms sesame ginger. This is actually a dressing. I'm gonna use some of that. And then Frank's Red Hot the Slammin' Sriracha. It's kind of like a sweet chili, but got that nice sriracha kick to it. So I'm gonna add both of these in there and make a sauce out of it. See guys, I'm not putting a lot of sauce on there. It's just enough to give it some flavor and a little bit of moisture. Um, again, it all depends on what your macros are, how health conscious you want to be, or if you're just watching this video just to learn how to meal prep for the week for your family. Um, again, I maybe used maybe a quarter cup of the Frank's Red Hot and then probably a little bit more of the Walden Farms, but the Walden Farms is the calorie free stuff. Um, I don't eat that a whole lot. I have that from when I was in prep, but Figured I would use it up, so now this is just gonna sit over here and cool with the other. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna check on my uh, Mexican chicken over here. The stuff that I put the salsa verde in looks like it may be done. Oh yeah. So this is done. It pretty much falls apart when you pick it up out of here. So I'm just gonna bring this over on my cutting board here, and yeah, see, it just falls apart. So go ahead and break this up a little bit. I like cooking chicken in the crock pot, crock pot as opposed to like baking it or grilling it. Um, in the summer I don't mind grilling it, but if you're gonna meal prep, you want it to be really moist because sometimes chicken can get dry and boring. So I like to just throw it in the crock pot and just add a little bit of spices or salsa or something in there to just kind of give it a little bit of moisture and flavor. Okay, so now I'm going to just throw back in there, now that it's shredded, so it can absorb a little bit more of that salsa. That smells really good, guys. Okay, and now I'm going to get my other container. So that chicken that I um, put in these two crock pots this morning was a total of two pounds of chicken. 
The chicken breasts are really big. I put two of them in this big crock pot with the salsa verde and one of them in the other crock pot with the cream of chicken soup. So we will see here. So that absorbed actually most of the salsa, so. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's done and shredded. You can see some of the salsa verde in there and then I'm just gonna let this cool over here with the other stuff. husband he really likes the chicken and rice the creamy chicken and rice so this is just how I make it um, however much chicken you want put it in the crock pot with the cream of chicken soup shred up the chicken and then you can either add the rice to it now while it's um, when the chicken's done cooking so it can absorb the rest of the juices and the soup so it gives the rice flavor or you can just leave it like this and pour it over cooked white rice so since I'm not prepping rice right now, I'm prepping quinoa, I'm gonna go ahead and throw um, some rice in here so it can absorb the rest of that and that way it'll have some flavor. So since there's only one chicken breast in there, I used one can of soup and then one full can of the water. So I'm probably gonna do, I don't know, maybe a quarter cup of rice. This is a half cup, so. Quarter cup of rice in there. And as it cooks, if it looks like it's getting dry, I'll just add more water to it, but that's that. All right, guys, I think we're almost done here. So the potatoes look amazing. It was up here so you guys can see. Where's my spatula? So this is how I like my potatoes. I like them roasted, nice and golden brown. Um, and again, I just have these and put them on the baking sheet. So these are done. So they are gonna go over here with the rest of the stuff to cool. And then let's check on our Brussels sprouts. need a little bit more time. Oops. I don't want to add any more olive oil. So I have some olive oil cooking spray up here. So this is just the generic olive oil cooking spray. I'm going to add a little bit of that to the top and then I'm going to move these really close to the top of the broiler so they get nice and brown. Alright guys, so right now I've got all of my meat cooked. I've got the two things of turkey and the one thing of chicken and then the other chicken is in here. Um, and I've got the potatoes and the asparagus that are done. The quinoa is cooking and the Brussels sprouts are still cooking along with my black beans. So right now is a good point where I just like to start cleaning things up while everything else is finished getting cooking. So that way when that's done, I can lay out all my containers and portion it out. So that's what I'm gonna do and I'll see you in a minute. All right guys, so as you can see, my quinoa is done, nice and fluffy. So I'm going to let that cool. Everything else that's over here. And we are almost ready to portion. Here's my Brussels sprouts, those are ready to be done too. Those are just gonna cool over here. Okay guys, so now that everything is done, I think we're ready to portion. So first let me talk about containers. I personally like to have all the same type of container, that way they stack a lot better in the refrigerator, and these ones fit in my six pack bag, that's my cooler. So I have a few different kinds here. 
First, I just have the one compartment. This is from Fit Packer brand. I just bought these in January and I really like these. I think these ones are 16 ounces maybe. I will leave the link below. I got them from Amazon and they're really cheap and this is a really good brand. These ones I got last year. Um, these are a two compartment container, so these are really nice if you're cooking like spaghetti or something liquidy. I will put the chicken and rice in here and then put vegetables on the other side so that way stuff doesn't touch. Kind of weird, I don't like my food to touch really if it's different textures, so these are kind of nice to have on hand too, but I do mainly use the one compartment ones. These are just the Rubbermaid square containers. These are three cups. Um, these are nice too if you want a little bit of a smaller meal, but these are cheap. I got these, I think four for a dollar at the dollar store. And then I also have these small round containers. These are, I think, a cup and a half. Um, sometimes I'll put leftover things in here, or if I just want like a little snack portion, I will put um, a full meal in here too. So those are the type of containers that I have. The other thing that I do when I'm starting out is if you have set macros and you know how much you need to eat per meal, totally fine. Then you can just weigh out the container, put the container on there empty, and just weigh the food as you put it in. This chicken and the meat, I kind of just eyeballed portion sizes, so I don't know how much is in each container. So what I'm gonna do is zero this out and put the chicken on there whole. So this is about 21 ounces, and I know that I wanna get at least four portions out of there, so you divide it by four. Granted, the liquid weighs some, the container weighs some. You could, if you wanna get really technical, you could weigh the container on there empty and then add the meat to it, but right now I am not in strict prep right now. I'm just kind of muscle building, so I just kinda of want a general idea of what I'm eating. So that's kinda of how I do that. And then I will weigh out the rice or quinoa or whatever my carb is and then I don't weigh out vegetables unless it's my no carb day I weigh out the vegetables just so I make sure I have enough um, food for me so that's kind of okay so first I'm going to start out with the quinoa so I'm going to put a half cup of quinoa in each container to put some of the Asian inspired so this one is a little less than 15 ounces so I'm gonna take about three ounces maybe a little bit more And that's what it looks like when it's done. So I'm just gonna continue doing that. Is what it looks like with the Brussels sprouts. Okay next I pushed about the other turkey and potatoes and Brussels sprouts. So this is about three and a half ounces of turkey, three ounces of potatoes, and then I just filled the rest with Brussels sprouts. And that made four of those as well. Okay after portioning out the other turkey meals, this is the potatoes that I have left over. So I'm just gonna put this in a separate container to add into breakfast or just to have with another meal. Okay, last but not least, I'm gonna portion out my chicken with the quinoa and black beans to kind of make it like a topable. I pretty much make some form of this every week just because it holds up really good in the fridge and it tastes really good and I personally love Mexican food. I could eat it pretty much every day, so I um, this is a pretty big staple of mine. So what I'm gonna do with this is put, take this out for a minute, 
half a cup of black beans in each container. beans are high in carbs as well, I'm going to use a quarter cup of rice. This is one of the meals that I eat on leg day, which is my high carb day, just because it has a lot of carbs in it. Um, or so per container. what it looks like when it's all done. You've got the chicken, quinoa, and black beans. I go ahead and sprin sprinkle on top some kind of uh, Mexican flavors like cumin, chili pepper, um, or chili powder, anything spicy, and I'll usually put a little bit of uh, hot sauce on there too. All right, here are the chicken and rice bowls that made two, about two cup servings. All right, everyone, so here's what they all look like when they're done. I've got two of the, there's two, for each um, container there. So in the back, I've got the turkey, asparagus, and quinoa, turkey, uh, Brussels, and quinoa, my taco bowls with chicken, quinoa, and black beans, chicken, quinoa, and black beans, and then I've got the other turkey with potatoes and green beans, and then the turkey with potatoes and Brussels. So that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I prep my meals. This really didn't take me that long. It took me a lot longer because I was vlogging, but here's what they all look like. Enjoy. Again, all of the recipe details and shopping list will be up posted on my blog.